Welcome back to the What is SEO? SEO for Beginners series. In the last video, we went over SEO factor number two, backlinks. We explained the importance of backlinks and why they are not dead, how you can create valuable content and how to promote your content and get all kinds of backlinks. In this video, we are going on to number three of the 10 most important ranking factors, and that is page speed. SEO factor number three, page speed. Page speed is how fast a web page loads in a browser. Fast pages can be viewed almost instantly, while slow pages can take a longer time to appear. And these days, page speed matters more to Google. Think about it from Google's perspective. If they send searchers to a site that takes a long time to load, then those searchers are not going to be happy. People wanna see results fast, and if a page is slow, they'll leave and go to another page. Google tends to favor fast pages over slow ones in search results. All other things being equal, a faster page ranks higher. To see how your site performs, you can use the free Google tool, Test My Site. It'll analyze your website and tell you how it's performing and give you specific suggestions for speeding up your site. In addition to the recommendations by Test My Site, there are several simple things that you can do to speed up your site. If you aren't comfortable doing these things for yourself, ask your webmaster if they can help you with them. First, you wanna compress your images. Large images on pages dramatically increase the time that it takes for them to load. A simple way to increase your page speed is to automatically compress all of your images. If you use WordPress, the plugin WP Smush Image can handle all of the compression for you. Once you install the plugin, it'll go through all of your images in your media library and find the ones that it can compress. You can also bulk upload images and WP Smush will compress all of them for you. If you're using something other than WordPress, you can easily compress all of your images using a site like TinyPNG. So let me show you how easy it is to compress your images uh, using TinyPNG. So you just go to tinypng.com and you click here to add your um, images there. So let's see, we are just going to go with this one here, which is 1.2 megabytes. Now you do have a max of five megabytes each. So you wanna make sure that your images are less than that. Sometimes when you just take a picture with your um, camera or with your phone, they might be bigger than that. So that is one small um, little thing here. But all you have to do is upload your image and it automatically is going to downsize this. So you can see that this Learn Digital Marketing with Tori Mathis uh, started out 1.2 megabytes and it ended up being 270. Now, if I would have actually sized that down to the size that I needed for wherever I was going to be using that. So I think this one is probably like, you know, 1200 pixels wide. If I would have made that even smaller before I put it in here, we could have got that down even smaller. But this is gonna make a really big difference whether I put in a picture that is 1.2 megabytes or if I put in one that is 270 kilobytes, that is gonna be a significant difference. So if I would suggest that you tiny PNG all of your images and then also use the Smush plugin that I mentioned before so that you can get the most compression and speed up your website. So next you can use browser caching. When a person visits your website, all of the elements of your website, such as the images and the code need to load into their browser. The process requires a lot of resources and it slows the loading process. Browser caching can save some elements of your website, like your headers and footers within the visitor's browser so that they don't have to load every single time they visit your website. This can speed up your site quite a bit. The WordPress plugin W3 Total Cache makes it very simple to implement browser caching on your website. Next, you'll want to minify your HTML. When a person visits your website, the HTML code must be loaded into and interpreted by the browser. Decreasing the amount of code that must be loaded increases your page speed. 
Minification decreases the code by cleaning it up, removing any unnecessary lines, erasing duplicate information, and more. So you don't have to be a pro at coding to minify your HTML on your website. The WordPress plugin Minify HTML will take care of all of it for you. Once installed, you just go to the settings and you turn it on and your page speed will increase immediately. Next, you want to remove unused plugins and scripts. Plugins and scripts are an amazing way to improve the functionality of your site. Unfortunately though, they can also reduce its performance. Each time your website loads, the plugins and scripts also must load. An easy way to speed up your site is to remove any unnecessary or unused plugins and scripts. Next, you can use a content delivery network, also known as a CDN. A CDN puts all of the files for your website up on a large number of servers around the world, as opposed to just one server in a central location. Then, when a person visits your website, they get the files from the server that is closest to them. And this physical proximity of these servers increases the loading of your pages. Some example of CDNs are Cloudflare, CloudWatch, or Max CDN. In the next video in the series, we will dive into SEO factor number four, user experience.